Hi, Chickies, we're back. This um, video is for preparation for the class on Monday, April 20th. And um, after your time's right, I want you to think about things that you did or maybe didn't do. Um, both can be good or bad, you know, during uh, having written your timed right. And so we're going to go over that. We're going to talk about the selection. And so when you come to class, please have that pulled up and ready to go. And so just a quick um, preview to see if you followed uh, these steps. See, the first one is working the prompt, one to three minutes, looking at the multiple tasks and considering yourself, what are those tasks? So what literary devices, um, they're not gonna remember lay them out for you. You've got to come up with those, but you do need to keep in consideration that whatever they are, they're always gonna lead to meaning and that you're going to need to read with an eye out for those things. What else is it asking? Is it asking about narration? Is it asking about the character? Is it asking about setting? Is it asking about structure? Where is it going? Um, and what do you need to do with the piece? Do you need to bring a couple of those things together? Um, like how does structure perhaps bring out conflict could be another one. So um, also remember to keep the prompt in front of you while you're writing the essay. You need to refer back to the prompt and make sure that you are on target as you're going. Not that you need to belabor, belabor rereading, rereading as you're writing, but you do need to have it in front of you so that you know that you're not bird walking. Okay, so remember to read, reread, annotate and organize. Those are gonna be your steps. Um, and then maybe reread it the last. That could be roar. Oh, no, that wouldn't be roar. Okay. That was your um, little takeaway for the day. No. All right. So you're doing the first part to get ready. So uh, seven, maybe to 10 minutes max. What do you understand when you read it? That's what you want to concentrate on. If there are parts that just throw you completely, hopefully it's not the whole thing. They'll give, you, they'll give you some stuff to go on. And so focus on what you understand, write to that, considering what they want, considering the tasks in mind. Also, as you're reading, uh, what literary devices dominate, what pops out. And then are there repeated devices, uh, words or ideas? Is there a lot of uh, repetition somewhere? If you see repetition in words or ideas, Focus on those, they're important, very important. And then again, if it seems easy, look at it again. It's gonna be something that requires more than just a surface read. And then once you've spent that like seven minutes on the prompt or on the rereading or on the reading and the um, quick annotation, remember to organize your essay. Where is it going from beginning, middle to end? If you address it in that fashion, you have inherently addressed structure, okay? Um, and then uh, look at the literary devices in each. Do some predominate at the beginning or the end or just one, uh, excuse me, dominate, or just one dominate all the way through? So um, look for that. Also look for connections from uh, what's happening at the beginning, middle, and if there are arrows that you can go, oh, well, this idea is carried all the way through, then you see you've got a motif that you can address. Um, okay, and then remember writing is 20 to 25 minutes max, depending on how much time you spent preparing yourself for the essay. And I am telling you that preparing is a huge part of it. Your writing will go faster and more, um, It'll be more structurally sound. It will flow, which is a lot of what they're looking for. They're looking for organization, they're looking for development, and they're looking um, for uh, your ability to construct an argument. Not, it's not a rhetor uh, rhetorical analysis test, but you're still getting them to buy what you um, stated as your thesis. So remember to think while you're writing. Um, again, don't go off into some little bird walking thing, but keep your, self-focused on the on the task at hand and go ahead and write remember that you're not going to have three hours it's not going to be a three-hour test um, so you're not going to be exhausted by the end of it
Okay, so you'll be, you should be fresh throughout. Then finally, uh, proofread, three minutes or so. You're not going back to rewrite the entire essay. It's a time to write, okay? So, but just give yourself to kind of glance over it, change a few things here there if you need to, minor things, okay? Or if you need to add a little point. But don't, uh, don't stress over that last part of it as if you're gonna rewrite the whole thing, you're not. Okay, stay calm, give yourself a sense of calm, and, um, and you should be fine, okay? And hopefully those are the steps that you took on your uh, previous time right, which we will talk about in class. So I will see you then.